Hey, it's APOC, and so today I'm going to help you to get connected to Hack the Box so that you can hack safely as my previous videos show without going to jail, okay? So the first thing you want to do is once you're logged in, and if you have trouble logging in, go back to my previous video. I talked about that. But on the left-hand menu, click on Labs, and then click Starting Point. These are ones that actually have PDF files and tutorials to show you how to do them. This is going to help you and I to build our base of knowledge. Once you do starting point, we're going to click on a very easy server called Archetype. Click on that server name. Give it just a second. I'm running this on a virtual machine, as you should. If you haven't, like, if you don't know how to set up your virtual machine, here's a link to that video to set up your virtual machine with Kali Linux, which we're using to hack. Now, once you're here, we can join the machine, but we need to connect. So in the top right hand corner, which is why I have my webcam positioned where it is, it shows that I'm not connected in red. It'll be green when you connect. So click on connect to hack the box. Woo. All right, and then it says machines, US starting point. We're gonna go ahead and click on starting point, play starting point machines, because that's where we're starting. All right, and then it says options. We're gonna choose open VPN. And then for this, we're gonna, it already has selected. We're in the United States. If you're in the EU, choose the EU, okay? And VPN server starting point one, since we have chosen UPS, the, the US server, not the UPS server. So if you're in, you, in EU, I'm sure the server is gonna be different. I'm gonna leave protocol UDP 1337. That's what they recommended, so I'm just gonna go with it. And so you're gonna click download a VPN. This is Firefox. Okay? Firefox will download it to unless you change the options it's going to just download it to the downloads folder go ahead and click ok to download that now once you've downloaded it in the top right hand corner of firefox right there you can see my mouse just to the right of my webcam click on the download button right click and then open containing folder okay so this is how we're going to get connected so in the downloads folder you can right click in the gray space if or whatever color you have your background set up but we're going to need to run this file Okay, so and it shows you right here. This is the command we're gonna run. Open VPN path to whatever my file is. Okay, so on this machine, go back into it, right click, open containing folder. Didn't have to do it again, but that shows you how. And then you gonna right click and do and select open terminal here. Once I open the terminal, I'm then going to. I always type ls because I want to see the name of the file again. So starting point, that's my username with the one because I already have this file downloaded. So here's my original right here. Okay. So I'm going to use my original. So I'm going to say open VPN and then starting point. Stenix, uh, and then it did that because once again, I have two files. I'll delete that one and then press enter. It's going to fail because you need to escalate your privileges by default in Kali Linux or in if you were doing this in any machine you don't want to run as the root root is like the master account the administrator the all-powerful account you don't want to run root so what we're gonna to have to do here is we're gonna to have to escalate our permissions using this su sudo command it's sudo you can look it up you can google it read up on it but for the purpose of this i'm trying to teach you like quick and easy ways to just start playing with this stuff and then you can kind of build that in later but anytime that you have to run a command and requires advanced or requires like administrative privileges you can do like sudo escalate your privileges privileges and run a command kali linux the default password for kali linux is kali and you run that and guess what it completely successfully you cannot close this window you cannot because this is your vpn you just what you did is you just used open vpn and in a text way you just created a vpn and connected by virtual private network which means you are on your computer network locally but you also have this tunnel directly to the hack the box and look at this look at all these things turn green okay so this is all of our stuff so i'm going to minimize this okay we don't want to close that because you close it you lose your connection to the network where your machines are so i'm going to go back to labs and gonna to go to starting point again. And I should see my server, Mr. Archetype. I can now get to it. So now, now that I'm connected, I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna join Archetype. So I'm gonna click on Archetype. Arch, Arch, I don't know, A-R-C-H, I don't know, you know. All right, it's saying offline. Now I have two connections, so I know I'm connected in the top right-hand corner. 
So, but this showing that this server is offline. So let's go back to labs and let's look at starting point again, because we definitely need a machine that's online. So let's see. I think the server is online. I'm going to try to join the server. What the heck? Once again, we want to start with a very easy one. If not, we'll go to another one. So I'll show you, click on this, click join live machine. It says join the instance. It says active. Okay. There's IP address. All right. Looking good. Go back to the top. We still have a window over here, but we need to open up a new terminal window. Remember we can't do anything with this. Don't press control C that'll cancel it. Just leave it. Click on your terminal right here. Open up a brand new terminal. All right. Once you have this open, the first thing you want to do is ping, which is a command. Basically ping just says, Hey, are you there? And if it's there, it's going to say, yeah, I'm here. So ping 10.10.10.27. That's the name of that computer on the network. It's IP address. It's kind of like in networking, it's kind of like streets. It's like your street address. So I'm basically sending a message to this device using its network address. And if it's there, it's going to reply. So let's see, I did. And this is what you want to see reply from 10.10.10.27. Let me do 10.10.28. I don't think that's a real, oh, that's okay. There's a server. Let's do like two, five, zero. Okay. So if the, if this is what you would see, if see that if the server is not there, like if the server was down for this, you'll see either a destination unreachable or you would like request timed out in some platforms. Can't remember what Linux does, but you know, this is the difference. You want to see reply from and the IP address that you're talking about. Okay. Let's go back to that. And it'll say how much time. 100 time to live is that's a whole nother story, but 37.3 milliseconds is ping. So that's a good ping time for me to this server. Now, once we're connected to this server, we can then start doing, go to the next step, which is reconnaissance. So go ahead and like the video, go ahead and subscribe to the video. And tomorrow, or whenever I get this video edited and uploaded, I'm going to try to keep these coming pretty frequently. We're going to go into the reconnaissance side, which means we're going to like interrogate this machine and figure out what's open and then try to exploit the things that are open on this machine and see if we can get some points. Anyway, this is Apoc. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.